Hello, I'm Dr. Brant Gibson, and I'm excited to be back today. I took a little bit of time off and didn't do the this video for Heal Spurs yesterday because I was spending time with family, which I think was is very, very important, probably more important than this even. Um, but I want to make sure I get it done today, and I will probably catch up and do a second one later today as well. So today I want to talk to you about conservative treatment for heel spur. And to remind you, we're not talking about spurs on the bottom of the foot that are associated with plantar fasciitis. We've talked about those previously. We're talking about the heel spur on the back of the heel and the pretty significant uh, swelling and pain that's associated with that. So with that heel spur, there are things that we talked about two days ago about what you can do at home. But what I want to talk to you about are what's some conservative treatment. So if you go to the doctor and you have a heel spur in the back of the heel, in the area of the Achilles tendon, what are some things that can be done for you or that can that the doctor can help you with? And some of the things you could do at home will still work. So you can, you can ice the area. You can use anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen, uh, Motrin, Advil, Aleve, those kind of things. Um, you can use heel lifts to take the pressure off the Achilles tendon with the goal of hopefully taking the pressure off that spur. You can do, use padding. All of those are conservative treatments, of course, but once you go to the doctor, there are some additional things that can be done. Um, one of the questions people commonly will ask is about getting a cortisone shot to that area. Because of the Achilles tendon, because of the how strong the Achilles tendon is, the strongest tendon in the body, I, it, injections in this area are not recommended because they can actually weaken the tendon and they can actually predispose you for possibly having a ruptured Achilles tendon, which is a lot bigger problem than the heel spur and the pain associated with the spur. So injections are not an option. So what are the options? Well, you could do an oral steroid. Oral steroids will similarly decrease swelling, decrease pain, and help in improving the symptoms in that area. And that's something that you could try. There's such things as a medrol dose pack, which is a seven-day course of, of steroid. Um, or you can do some of the steroids that are used commonly, like prednisone for uh, arthritis or some of those kind of pains that are also used. So that's one option. You can actually, there's a form of laser, the MLS laser that we use in our office can actually be used for this area to decrease pain, decrease swelling, and stimulate the tissues to heal. And if the spurs are not so severe, a lot of times this can actually alleviate the problem and at least postpone for a period of time having to do anything more aggressive. There, these, these are usually some of the biggest things that you can do in that area other than just trying to reduce symptoms. So a oral steroid, MLS laser to the area, and then the conservative treatments that you're already doing at home. The point is, if the pain is continuing to progress, continuing to get worse, there comes a point where you're going to have to look at possibly doing some kind of a surgical treatment for this. So this is Dr. Brant Gibson, and this is your podiatry tips day 232 conservative treatment for a heel spur. There are some that can be done, and a lot of times we can actually alleviate the symptoms, at least postponing the necessity of doing a surgery. This is Dr. Brent Gibson.